Hi everyone, it's Rebecca Ella here and welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute, I know, and I'm going to get back into it. I did a poll, not a poll, I did like a questionnaire on Instagram. You all decided you still want me to do YouTube because I actually just assumed that because you was all enjoying, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, it's Rebecca Ella. Anyway, if you do follow me on Instagram already, then you'd know I do a lot of um, tutorials on there where I just upload as I go along. It's kind of live but in bits that I can save it not a live video but I film and post it whilst I go and you all seem to be enjoying that so I thought I would just stick to that and I've got quite a few tutorials on there if you haven't seen anything and you don't follow then you can go and watch them they're in my highlights there's lots of makeup tutorials there um but you want me to carry on doing this and I'm going to start off with how I do my brows so my brows have changed slightly I still do what you've seen in my other videos with the powder. I do still really like that, but recently, I think because of the summertime mainly, I've been preferring more softer brows. And when I got sent this, I instantly fell in love with it, so I've just been using this since. This is the Kevin Aquan The Precision Brow Pencil. I'm gonna assume though that the NYX ones, oh my God, I'm at the bottom, oh my God. I'm gonna assume though that the NYX ones are exactly the same as this with a really thin brow pencil. I can't believe I've finished. That's really panicked me now. I've only got a tiny bit left. Hopefully this gets me through it. Anyway, I'll zoom in so that you can see my brows. By the way, I know I'm looking damn pasty right now, but it's that time of year. I don't hit sunbeds. I don't really like putting fake tan on my face. So um, yeah, you've just got to deal with this ghost for now. So. Starting with the pencil, it is mainly just the pencil to start off with. You've got the spoolie on it, and I'm just going to start by brushing my brows through. So I just brush them in the direction that they should be going so that they're nice and neat. It also makes it easier to put product through your brow that way. In with the pencil, if it lasts me the whole way. This colour as well is brunette. I'm going to start by drawing a line right underneath my brow the whole way along. So I bring my tail longer and I bring it in a little bit more at the front there to bring my brows closer together. I'm then going to start drawing on top of my brows so I'm going to outline from the top but I start a little bit in. I don't start right at the front because it looks more blocky. So I'm going to start just past the front bit and start drawing a line along the top. But then I bring that line out because I'm going to make my arch thicker. So as you can see I've brought that line out now I'm going to bring it down and connect it to the tail. Like that. I'm going to do the same with the other side. And then I'll just look at them both to check that I'm happy with the arches on both sides and that they're even. And then the gap in between the brow, I'm then going to start filling in with the pencil. So it's mainly the end part of the brow I fill a lot in because that's the bit that's more gappy. I'm going to give that a little brush through because I can move my hair around. And then for the front parts of my brow, because this is so fine, I like to do little hair strokes so it looks natural and soft at the front. And I do that starting from the line that I created underneath. Just brush the strokes upwards. Give it a little brush as well. I'm then going to go in with some brow gel. This is not 
well it is but it's not this is actually clear mascara it doesn't look clear because i've used it so many times this is um collection color lash all day wear mascara it's just clear mascara but you get obviously more for your money it's the exact same thing as brow gel and i just brush my hairs upwards at the front i brush them up but going out of the shape so that they poke out And then the rest, I do brush up, but I keep it more in the shape. So it doesn't poke out, but it's still going up. Like so. So they're still really defined, but not as harsh or as filled in. They're just a little bit softer, which I'm liking at the moment, so. That's what we're going with. And then I'm just going to show you how I clean up my brows and then the base that I use for my lid. So at the moment I'm using the P. Louise Rimmer Base, but honestly, any concealer will work. This is just easy for me because it's in a tube and there's quite a lot in there, so it's easy to squeeze out. But I also use Collection Concealer, Jouer, Maybelline. Any of them are good. Some of them are easier to glide on. This is quite thick and creamy though, so it does give you a really clean base. So I'm just going to put some of that on my hand. And you want a brush that is super flat. So this is the one that I have got. It's flat, it's got a really sharp point at the end. So you're gonna get a really crisp line. This is a Jessup brush. I get asked this all the time. This is a Jessup brush. It's from a Jessup brush set. So there's about 12 brushes. You probably get it for, I don't know, 12 pound. It is really affordable. You can get it on eBay or Amazon. Um, but this one in particular is hard to find because I've had it for years. So I'm actually going to probably, once this goes, I'm going to have to look for something else because I don't know if I can actually find it online. But yeah, if you want to know it, it's like this. If you get one similar, it's perfect. Like, you just want something similar to this. So I'm going to pick up the concealer. I'm going to pick up quite a bit on both sides. But you don't want to go overboard. But you, just, you do want like a nice amount on there. And then I basically just clean up under the whole brow. So just sharpen up that whole shape. I start right at the front on the nose and I go right past the end of the brow. If your line around your brow is not as sharp you may need to pick up more concealer. You need quite a bit on the tip of the brush to get it really crisp. And then I'm going to use what's left of my brush, so nowhere near as much as what I use underneath. I'm just going to sharpen the tail, so from the arch downwards. Just gonna do the same on the other side so you get to see again. I'm just going to cover the lid. So I've actually used all that concealer, so that blob I put on was enough. The other thing I do as well when I'm doing my brows is I make sure these two lines that I've brought out from each brow are kind of on the same level, so then you know they're going to look even. You don't want one coming down, one going straight, you want them both almost joining sort of thing, so you know. 
but they're at the same positioning. If you have quite wonky brows, you might have to do that on top as well. Line it up, going across. I'm actually going to get a little bit more concealer because I want this base to be very clean. And I'm going to go straight in with this brush that I'm using now. Just pick it up on your brush like that and just pat it on just as an extra coverage. Because when you use this brush, patting it, it kind of evens out the whole layer. One thing you want to be careful of is when you're patting, not to get too close to the line that you've just created and then ruin it. So I will look a little bit weird at the moment, probably a little bit bald on my eyes. But um, yeah, this is how I do my brows currently. This is how I'm liking them, um, just the effects really. I do, honestly, now that I've run out of this one, I will check how much it is online. But if the NYX one is considerably cheaper, I will get the NYX one over this because I know the NYX one's good as well. And it's probably just like this. But otherwise, if it's similar, I'll go for this one. I'll be back in a second just to show you the finished look so I don't look like uh, like this, basically. So, yeah. So, here I am back with my full face. You can see how my eyebrows are looking. Um, and, yeah, they just don't look too in your face, which is what I like. I like they're still defined, but they look a little bit more, you know, realistic, a little bit more hair-like, not as filled the hell in. Um... But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this brow tutorial helped you out. If so, then make sure to please thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.